want to start out with this story, which is really bizarre. Apparently yesterday, Missouri State Auditor Tom Schweich, I'm not sure how to pronounce his name, killed himself in what is an apparent suicide. Shot himself in the head. Schweich was considered a leading candidate to run for governor. I don't know that many people thought that he would win. But yesterday, last night, I guess yesterday afternoon, the editorial page editor of the St. Louis Post-Dispatch, a guy named Tony Messenger, wrote, a, I guess it was like, an, a not, I don't know, it was an opinion piece, but he wrote about the death of this guy, the suicide of Tom Schweich, who apparently he had a fairly close relationship well, it seems like it was a professional relationship, but a close one, uh, or closer than most politicians have with reporters. Let's put it that way. They would meet once or twice a month for lunch, et cetera, et cetera. And Messenger wrote a column about Schweich, saying that he wasn't a very good politician because he would buck a lot of uh, of people in his own party and also sometimes just seemed to have not a real good political sense, even in interpersonal relations. But he goes on to write, I have no idea why Schweitz killed himself, but for the past several days he had been confiding in me that he planned to accuse the chairman of the Missouri Republican Party, John Hancock, with leading a whisper campaign among donors that he, Schweitz, was Jewish. And Messenger goes on to say he wasn't, which is to say that he attended an Episcopal church, but that doesn't mean that he wasn't proud of his Jewish heritage passed down from his grandfather. Which, of course, you know, that part of the story is really sort of irrelevant, whether or not the guy was or wasn't. Um, the point of a whisper campaign is that you're supposedly exposing something... <laughs> is really damaging. Now, Messenger goes on to write that Missouri is the state that gave us Fraser Glenn Miller, the raging racist who last year killed three people at a Jewish community center in Kansas City. It's the state on which the day before Schweitz died, the Anti-Defamation League reported on a rise of white supremacist prison gangs in the state. Um, I don't think prison gangs can vote. I mean, so uh, when the head of the Republican Party is allegedly starting a whisper campaign that this guy running for governor may be Jewish, I mean, I, it, I, it's just, I don't know, it's a bizarre story. But it also gives you a sense of, like, if they're doing whisper campaigns that a guy might be Jewish or might have Jewish ancestry, can you just imagine how full-throated their full-on racism is? <laughs> I mean, honestly, this guy might be Jewish. Well, at least he ain't no nig. I mean, that's what's going on there, I, I would imagine. But that's stunning. That's a, it'll be interesting to see if they dig into that story. More. I look forward to Fox News when it comes out that this was an anti-Semitic murder to be like, you know, we should not have to answer for this. What was the last time a Democratic leader had to disavow Al Sharpton? Right. Or, uh, or, or this just goes to show how important it is for Democrats to show up and, and uh, listen to what Bibi Netanyahu has to say. Exactly. I think Democrats skipping this speech gave the space for the Missouri that, Republican that Party is the chairman. Problem. They don't seem to appreciate anti-Semitism. And Bibi is the leader of the Jews. 